everybody, how's it going? My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and you are in the Poindexter Lounge. Welcome, everybody. It is so good to have each and every one of you here. And uh, actually, you know, I'm on the road, so we're doing one of those Poindexter on the road things, all right? Um, it is just so good to have you guys. Uh, I'm so thankful for everyone who tunes in and uh, watches the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if this is your first time, hey, we would love to have you become a part of what we do here. So please hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so that you know when we put out videos, which is all the time. And then, of course, also, uh, you know, leave a comment down in the comment section or follow us at Twitter at Enosh Music or at Poindexter Lounge with just an X in the middle because the E was too much for Twitter. And then also you can just uh, hashtag uh, Poindexter Lounge, all right, the full word. And then also, you know what? Share the video, right? Tell other people and smash that like as the kids are saying nowadays. As kids are saying nowadays, something like that. Anyways, so do all those things and uh, come be a part of what we're doing. Today, I wanna talk about Patrick Wilson because this is a really funny story that, uh, that I really dig uh, from uh, Aquaman. And you know, we just did the Aquaman reaction trailer uh, last week and this story came out. Now, uh, James Wan, who is directing this movie, also directed and wrote The Conjuring movies and has had a, a big part to play in that universe. And so Patrick Wilson was in both The Conjuring 1 and 2, and that's when James Wan actually asked him to be in Aquaman as Ocean Master. And Patrick said, sure, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there was no script, but hey, yeah, I'm in. There's no movie, but yeah, hey, I'm in. There's nothing to show you, but I'm in, man. There's only a picture of Ocean Master from the comics. I'm in, and I like that enthusiasm. Uh, and so much so that the Hollywood Reporter said that his agent even, Patrick Wilson's agent, was really upset with him that he took on this role without even seeing a script, without seeing anything about it, not knowing anything about the story, nothing, just based off of James Wan asking him to do it. But obviously they had worked together, he had a lot of, um, of trust in James Wan, and uh, that really goes to show you that, you know, if you work well with people and, you know, you develop uh, a reputation for, for treating people right and doing the right thing, it, it will, uh, it will be known and people will respect you. And so obviously Patrick Wilson uh, wanted to be a part of Aquaman simply because of James Wan's uh, connection to the movie. And so I think that that's a cool story. I don't know, I when I saw that today, I just thought that, that seemed uh, really uh, funny. Another little piece of Aquaman news is uh, the guy who pl is playing uh, Black Manta, and I think I'm getting this name right. Hey, look, my name is Enosh, so I have an unusual name, so I hate it when people get names wrong, but I think it's Yahya Abdul Mateen II, I think. All right. So anyways, uh, he had he had a little bit more stipulation before he took on the role of Black Manta in Aquaman. And that was he did not want to have facial hair. He had had facial hair in so many movies that he said, no, I want to be different this time. And uh, James Wan agreed with him and said, yeah, he says I, I want I want uh, your character to be um, to be attractive and to look a certain way. And so they actually went ahead with that because he would not sign unless he lost his facial hair. And so that sounds like something that my son, my son is constantly asking me to shave because I would look exactly like him, a 12 year old boy, 13 year old boy, uh, if I did that, but, uh, no luck there, buddy. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for being with me today. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this little bit of uh, story. I just wanted to talk about that because I just thought it was a cool, fun little thing to share. All right. Hey, if you guys like the content today, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section because I want to hear from you. I want to know what you guys think of the stuff that we talk about because that's what the Poindexter Lounge is all about. It's a place for nerds and it's a place where we can talk about movies, TV shows, games, uh, you know, all that stuff, Star Wars, superheroes, all of it, man. That's why we're here, all right? Until next time, bye-bye.